What's good here, YouTube? And welcome to the house. We've got ourselves the full spoiler already for Battles of Legend this year. And I imagine it wouldn't be that hard to get the full spoiler, right? If you get one box, if the ratios are similar to last year, the entire thing could be spoiled by one box. These names are not confirmed for the TCG, but apparently the rarities are. Silver's card, or Silver Cards, has been a amazing news source over the past year. They've been on the spot, on Facebook, uploading, 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 now have over 7,000 followers and have consistently been accurate. That's why I believe Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! has shared their exact pictures and posts. And also the organization has up a long list of cards as well, with rarities not so much confirmed so let's go ahead and see what we've got here i'm excited to get into this set orgoth the relentless number one good start flying elephant cinderella gilf the phantom bird hex trude we've got golden castle of stromberg we've got glass slippers living fossil cyber emergency empty machine infinite machine infinite light We've got number 27, Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Number 67, Pair A Dice Smasher. Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. And number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. I gotta give it to Konami. This time, not pulling our Xyz out of the set. I still miss you, Mannequin Cat. I was kind of uh, not too keen to think that we would be getting these. And we are. Good job. Iron Draw. Glorious Numbers, Hibernation Dragon, Triggering Worm, I'm triggered, Topological Gumblar Dragon, Borogar Dragon, Flash Charge Dragon, Monster Reborn in a Secret Rare Slot, interesting, Card Trooper, uh, please don't be the Altar Art Monster Reborn, <laughs> we just got those, Card Trooper, The Phantom Knight of Ancient Cloaks, The Phantom Knight of Silent Boots, Supreme King Dragon, Dark Worm, Brilliant Fusion, Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. So all in secret rarity, not bad. So there is reason to get this over the structured X, I suppose. Merlin, Gamma Seal, Dark Lord Ixchel, Honest Neos, Metal Foes Mithrilium. That is very interesting. For a second there, I was like, Electromite! But uh, I was thinking picture to picture. Christian Quandax, Tornado Dragon, Union Hanger, Dragonic Diagram and Trickstar Reincarnation. Union Hanger. Okay. That's not bad. I like Union Hanger Secret Rare. That's that's a pretty good slot. I, I do feel like some of these are lacking or could have been other things. Uh, good to see, you know, Trickstar Reincarnation here. But why is Trickstar Reincarnation Diagram and Tornado Dragon all their original rarities? I'm not quite feeling that one. Let's get into the Ultra Rares. Let's see what they've got for us. We've got Summon Dice, Pumpkin Pit Cage, uh, Iron Hands, Iron Knight, Iron Cage, Litmus Doom Swordsman. I love that name, Litmus. It's Litmus, guys. Litmus Doom Ritual. Born for, for oh, born from Draconis. Cyber Eltanen. We got Cyber Larva. Slash Draw. Mitchy on the Time Lord. Okay, we got like all the Time Lords there. We'll just sum that up. Hayate the Earth Star, Tenma the Sky Star, Kaiki the Unity Star, Edaton the Conqueror Star, Shura the Combat Star, Torrential Tribute, interesting ultra rare there, Cyber Dragon, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, Air Hummingbird, Grammol, Dark Panther, and Rainbow Dark Dragon. Neos! Our Neos guys made it in here, I guess, because of the new support coming, which is also a sneak peek promo. They're really trying to press that. Convert Contact. I've always pulled that card out of bulk. My hard work dashed of uh, the days of hoping one day it would get there. We got the Ultimate Time Lord in a different slot. TG Wonder Magician. Norito, the Morale Leader. I actually, I, I think everybody should have Norito. Hey, Damage Juggler and Trick Clown Hollow. I know somebody that's going to be happy. Altergeist Hexia, Altergeist Manifestation, Cyframe Driver, Pyrorex the Elemental Lord, uh, Windrose as well. <laughs> we already gave you Grand Soil and Mulan Glacial. Let's give you these two as well. Oh, those are wasted slots. Noble Knight Madrat, Noble Knight Brothers, Unizombie, Dark Lord Nastin. Mm, oh, not bad. Eater of Millions, Trickstar... 
Narcissus. Interesting. Full Metal Foes Alkahist. So we're more Metal Foes. Number 41, Baguska. Duck, the World Chalice Dragon. Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow. Duck's interesting. Very interesting. Preparation of Rites. I, okay, that's, that's a good one. I, I, I just want everybody to have prep too, never to let it get expensive again. Kyoto Waterfront and the Ultra Rarity. Not bad. Pre-prep of rights is in here, giving it its first reprint uh, besides Megathins, I believe. Did it make Megathins? I'm pretty sure it did. The Kaiju Files in Ultra Rarity. Banishment of the Lar Dark Lord's Dark Lord Contract. Foolish Burial Goods. All right, I'm triggered at this point. Guys. Guys, Foolish Burial Goods, this reprint was so good, we not only put it in the starter deck for you, we not only put it in the Dark Saviors for you, here you guys go in Battles of Legend again. It's like that rabbit in the Wreck-It Ralph commercial being forced to eat the pancakes, except we're being forced to eat the Foolish Burial Goods. Why? Actually, why? Okay, once I, I want to see if certain things are in here. Duelist Alliance, World Legacy Discovery, World Legacy's Heart, so more World Chalice, World Legacy stuff. Solemn Judgment and an Ultra Rarity. Oh boy, not even secret. Okay, Bottomless Trapple, Solemn Strike, Dark Lord Enchantment, Unending Nightmare. <sighs> you guys didn't need Patchwork, did you? Subterra Guru? You, you didn't need security dragon that that would have shaken up the wcq we want it nice and safe with this set we want you to feel right at home and, and not feel like nats might get shaken up too much so here you guys go another foolish burial goods reprint another one i feel like they just keep doing this they just keep reprinting their reprints into the freaking ground and I'm all for a cheaper market for everybody, but I want more diverse products. I want more OCG imports. We're already diverging heavily. We, we're missing how many from Brains Pack? And it's fine to have different metas and different cards. Don't get me wrong, but eventually at some point we should have them while they're relevant. Foolish Burial Goods reprint. I, I, I think this is like the straw that breaks the camel's back. Three in a row. No, I didn't invest in these cards. I don't invest in cards anymore. I don't get cards except for the cards I'm about to get for Tabletop. Which, admittedly, this set might help a little with for past format Tabletop on a, a few things. Uh, nice looking Unizombies, oh boy. A nice looking Trick Clown and Jam and Juggler for Pepe format, okay. I just don't see the point here and every all the best cards were already announced people were looking forward to more from this set they're like oh this is the tip of the iceberg we have so many cards to be announced uh <laughs> nope that's not what happened oh man so you're telling me the only the only kaiju's gamma seal yet we got a hollow waterfront and kaiju files okay we got the phantom knights and secret rarity i'm not not a fan but if you're just going to reprint them later in the structure deck uh, that takes away value where is the actual value in this set diagrams getting reprinted in the megatons tricks are reincarnations likely to get hit where's the actual long-term past three months value in this set i'm not seeing it other than the collector's cards like orgoth the relentless but they're going to be so accessible if ratios are similar to last year i i don't think that there's going to be long-term value besides the cards that were only released in here that become meta later that we didn't foresee such as big evolution pill i i just don't actually see value in this set other than it's a fun set to open we've got new things like golden castle okay we got an archetype that does work it is pretty busted i personally like it, it it's if you could summon tour guide from your deck at any point in time that sounds pretty good but overall i don't know uh, some some nice bumps like secret reborn but i feel like we've already had a secret reborn unless i'm crazy secret trooper cool for my troop noob decks brilliant fusion yeah that was good like but nothing unending nightmare i think was announced yeah yeah the final card 104 here that's like the only card that in this entire release 
feels good, man. And it was already cheap. It was already down to 5 to $6 because a lot of people assumed Mega 10 and it kind of fell out of the meta as Pendulum sort of way. I'm just not... I'm not seeing much value long-term in the set. Like, it, it's exciting. It's hype. Busting it open will feel good for a bit. But in terms of the actual value, I don't know where it is long-term. The Time Lords are amazing. Don't get me wrong. The set, the set is a really good set. And I personally, as a player, might get a couple boxes, but... It should be, after a couple weeks, really, really cheap just to buy all the singles. Like, the Time Lords are exciting. The Golden Castle archetype is exciting. A lot of these hollowed up reprints are exciting. But a ton of this is just going to be under a dollar. Realistically, like, a box will give you everything. Three boxes would give you everything from the set. But I'd actually be interested to see how that pairs up versus buying it. Because right now, the biggest card out of, uh, like, how many cards are actually above $3 is my point in the old Battles of Legend. And I don't think it's past one page on TCG player. Denko's under uh, $2. So, just for its sake of relevance, I I think this set's not compared comparatively good compared to the other Battles of Legend. But we'll see over time how it pans out. What do you guys think? Are you disappointed like me? Or are you excited still? I, I'm disappointed in the the reprints, I guess I should say. And their choice of reprints, it really doesn't feel as good. But the other one set such a precedent that it was going to be hard to keep up with. But at the same time, like, long-term value, it does crash a lot of cards. Like, Into the Void went from 17 to a dollar, So maybe it's a good thing that stuff like this happens like we do see a lot of you know eight nine dollar cards for no reason like noble knight brothers that are gonna get perma crashed here so i'm 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 okay with that cards like that but it, it does make collecting a lot harder or making you know investment calls so to speak in Yu-Gi-Oh a lot harder which is fine i i think konami not caring about the secondary market is just fine but between these I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling the set as much as I once was, but it's still a pretty good overall set. Foolish Burial Goods reprints. 2K18. Let's eat them, boys.